All right, hello everyone. Welcome to another video in the London session. I'm currently sitting up 1,055. Um, I like to get these videos started whenever I, I get a feeling, you know, I'm in a trade and I think it's going to be a positive example of a trade working out and just showing you what I'm doing. Um, so I think we are going to take out that high that we made at 0320. Um, I think that high is vulnerable. Uh, we're probably looking up to draw into this set of order flow over here, so like 720 ish um, it's probably going to be like another 30 minutes maybe an hour um, I've been work so it's been working through this buy side imbalance sell side inefficiency it's redelivered it now it's working on rebalancing it and then it's probably going to come in and at least finish off this old 15 minute fair value gap that we were just trading in and then uh, start working up higher get up in the 750s at some point so I think it's uh, looking up Looking up. I'm long two from 672 spot 75. Um, we just trading above black candles now, making order blocks, order block, order block, order block, order block. That's actually a propulsion block because it's a black. This is a propulsion block now. It's a black candle that traded into a prior black candle. So we are looking very good here. Move that up there. Coming into, sorry, this is gonna be, I understand this is a lot of um, drawings overlapping. That's another fair value gap right there. I'm hoping that Bryce wants to just rip through that, invert it, go higher. And then if we can get price up to these wicks up here, it will accelerate through that. So any everywhere from 694 halves up to 701s, that's an inefficient delivered price. This is an inefficiently delivered price. It should accelerate through that wick. Should it be able to accelerate through the fair value gap, that's inefficient. It's going to have a little bit of work to do up here in this order block at uh, 692 halves, but I think it will get through there and then it'll easily get through these wicks the current thinking so I'm feeling pretty good um, I don't think the price so we've now re-delivered and then rebalanced that um, fair value gap and we are displacing higher so I'm not going to take a partial off here I think that would be pretty premature at 8 points 10 points I will go ahead and put in the break even stop though at 674. Hopefully we don't get stopped out on this. So why am I long? Well, I don't trust that high at 0325. I don't I don't I don't think that's a good time for price to make a high. Um, but also, okay, in addition to that, these closes here, just above the prior order block and in this wick, that was a pretty strong close, number one. And then we saw this buy side imbalance, sell side inefficiency, the price respected that. Also, this old BISI back here, we should be inverting it now. We redelivered and rebalanced it. So those factors would lead me to believe that price wants to go rip a new high. Might take a minute, though. I'm going to mute for a minute, listen to stuff.
All right. Uh, so we're going through that fair value gap now. It should be inverting. So I'm going to change this over to inverted fair value gap five minute. And then make it green again. So guys, the two PD arrays that I use, uh, blocks and fair value gaps. That's it. That's all I use, blocks and fair value gaps. So it's really all I feel like I need. Order blocks and fair value gaps. Okay, so the price, now that we traded through this, it should use that sell set imbalance, buy set inefficiency, and, and guys, so basically, once the price gets up into these wicks, it, it's, uh, it's just going to rip higher. It should rip higher through that. Accelerate. Um, we're going to take one off right at the high, and then I'm going to take one manually off, depending on how far it wants to shoot above that buy side liquidity. It's drawing to that buy side liquidity. Um, I did figure, so like right here, this is going to be a little bit of an impediment to price, but I think that that attraction to that, um, what I'm actually going to do is uh, mark that out. as uh, OBMT. So that's going to be a little bit of an impediment to price. I don't think it should come all the way back down and stop us out though. could get a black candle here. I'm going to sit it out. I think um, I think it should want to go actually take out that buy side liquidity. I think 701 is in is is really um, in the cards. So, I'm going to sit on this one. I really am. I'm not um, I'm not going to take parcels on this one. I'm I'm going to sit it. I, I don't see any reason why the price wouldn't want to get up there and take that buy side liquidity it really looks like that's what it is drawing to we're coming up on that five minute order block up there Get a little bit of reaction off price. I think it should push through that. Push through that order block, we could invert it. Jet fuel to go even higher. This is where the resistance is going to be, is that order block mean threshold. Once it gets up to those wicks, it should accelerate. Big green candle. Just displace a lot higher if we can get there. Might get a black candle here. This green candle could go black on me. But price, uh, I think 701 is basically um, like sign seal delivered.
then I think I might take a break from trading once we get get through this trade. I think 701 is is would be would be very unreasonable for me to see price stopping here and not taking that liquidity. Like it pretty clearly is looking like it's going to finish that off and push into those highs. Push into that liquidity. So Here we go. We're now getting some good trading above the mean threshold of that bearish order block. Price is trying to push through it. Once it, like I said, guys, these are all, all these wicks are inefficiently delivered price. So price should just accelerate. Once it gets up to 694.50, basically, you should see acceleration. I'm going to draw an eye. I'm going to have an eye. Buy side liquidity. Eye. Yeah, so there we go. We should get, we should be seeing acceleration here pretty quick. Big green candle. This is all an inefficiently delivered price. Price should have no problem getting through that. And accelerating, a big pop, acceleration. Okay, we're we're now officially we're in a very inefficient delivered price. Should want to accelerate through that. No. It's um, unexpected. Guess I could take one contract off here. I don't think that would be the right decision, though. I don't see any reason why price at this point would just want to turn. That'd be a very weird place for price to turn around. Possible, I suppose. Could take one off. Kind of hard for me to believe that, that that's actually going to stop price. Okay, coming back down to that bearish order block. Let's see if it wants to invert. Coming back down to that same inverted fair value gap. I think price is still drawing up to 701 evens. At this point, I don't see this black candle as stopping price. I think price should want to accelerate through that buy side liquidity. Getting some support off the inversion order block. It's a good sign.
This is crazy how they're stopping price right before the liquidity. Those wicks should not be stopping price. I think price should accelerate through the wicks. Accelerate higher. Big candle up. It would be exceedingly strange for price not to push above 701. Well, I thought that it was going to actually make a new high, and now I'm not so sure. I guess not. I'm going to come back to that inverted fair value gap and not make a new high. It seems odd, but I guess if it doesn't want to make a new high, I can't make it. It's just a very strange place for price to want to stop and turn around and not take out that high. Really? Seems odd. That seems very strange to me that price does not want to make a new high there on that. Um, I might have to get back in long on one contract. I, I have no choice. That's just bizarre. I'm going to get long on one contract. Put the stop below that inverted fair value gap from over here. How, why would price not want to make a new high and accelerate? There's liquidity up there. I think the price is getting ready to go attack that buy side at 701 and push to it and through it. Uh, hopefully with a large substantial green candle. We're on one contract now. I was stopped out and then I re-entered on one contract. It'd be exceedingly strange for price not to want to take out that liquidity. 
it would be bizarre. Okay, um, I'm gonna put it 691. Okay, I wanna see the price like, not just like sweep the high, but like push, push to it and through it. No, no, are you kidding? Is this a joke? All right, well, I'm, I'm going 692. I'm locking in some profit. I'm really wanting the NASDAQ to push that 701 and bring us a glorious new high. No? Really, you're going to come stop me out? after getting within like a point of a new high really you're gonna come make sure to come get my little break even stop I'm sure so if I get stopped out on this I'm pretty tired I'm gonna go to sleep I really want to see it punch through that 701 but it's just being lethargic right now it doesn't want to do it I'm waiting. I want to see a big green candle just punch right through it. To it and through it. No? No, oh, are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? That has to be a joke. 700 quarters? Three ticks away from a new high? Really? What kind of shenanigans is this? It's going to come stop me out after that? Really? That's something else. Okay. I don't want to have to upload a video of watching me assume that it's going to do something and then it doesn't do it. Why would it not go through that high? It's right there, guys. The liquidity's right there. Go grab it. We'll take it. No? That's crazy. 1576. All right. That's wild. Why would you not want that liquidity? That's crazy. Oh, that's really crazy. Really figured it would just push right through that. No problem. All right. Try again. I'm a determined man. I'll give up that easily. Long one.
This would be bizarre for Price to get all the way up there like that and not make a new high. That would just be wild. Beyond wild, just crazy. That's nuts. You don't want a new high? After all, putting in all that work, you just don't want to make a new high? Right there? You don't want to make a new high. You're right there. I mean, you're right there. Just make a new high. All right. Well, I guess I'll, I'll. I don't know. All right. I don't want to play this game any longer. I'm very tired. We're up 15, 12, 14 going into the New York session. Um, I'm calling it there. Uh, I think I made 600. So you can see we were longing. Really thought I was going to make a new high. Didn't make a new high uh, before I stopped. So I'm going to close out the charts. Um, going into New York, I'm up 15.12, which is a good London session. Um, a very good London session. And so that was it. That was London session part two.